clarity and um, remembering things better. That's amazing. And I can even tell David when I can fill in for David when he forgets. <laughs> really? Now that's saying something because your husband's a young old man. Like he's sharp or has been. He is. So this is session seven. So you've done six. Yeah. Today will be seven. You haven't gotten in yet. Okay. And my knees feel stronger. Oh, good. Uh, my back doesn't hurt when I sit at my desk a lot. And that's huge, right? Because that's been yeah, something that's you've been doing with what I do a lot. <laughs> and other than this hyperbaric treatment, is there anything you've done differently in the last week? I decreased my adrenaline. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you can sleep. <laughs> um, I've had trouble sleeping. Yeah. I mean, I'm just, my brain is going 90 miles an hour all night long. And so I decreased the adrenaline and I think I decreased the B vitamin. Have you found that you're going to sleep better in the last week? Well, I doubled up on my magnesium good for you. <laughs> yesterday okay. and I slept really good last night. That's excellent. I'm so glad to hear that. That's cool. And that's really fast considering really what you've got going on is super complicated and it's going to well, take I, a little well, while. with everything I'm taking. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, three handfuls in the morning and two at noon. <laughs> oh I've had because patients I'm tease they're not hungry because when they're they, or something. I, <laughs> when I had the, the virus in June, I also had uh, gout and cellulitis in my leg and foot. Oh, my goodness. So they put me on a round of three weeks of antibiotics. Good wow. grief. Well, with the cellulitis, you know, something that the, the tank that the oxygen supplementation that you're getting in the pressurized tank yeah. that most people don't know about is that when your white cells go to kill a bacteria like in cellulitis, uh, it utilizes, those little white cells have what's called a vacuole. And you'll probably remember this from high school biology. Those vacuoles are full of liquid substances that it's gonna use, that the white cell's gonna use to kill the bacteria or the virus. Do you know yeah. what they're made of? What's inside the liquid? It's homemade bleach. Your body makes it endogenously and homemade hydrogen peroxide, both of which you need oxygen to make. Yeah. Well, so this is huge. <laughs> in November, I had hand surgery on both hands, one hand and then the other one. Just this last November? Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. And <clears throat> when I had the second hand surgery, I developed cellulitis in my hand. In your hand. Holy cow. And so I went to the walk-in clinic because the hand surgeon, it, it was over Thanksgiving. Right. The hand surgeon down. wasn't available, so he called me. They put me on an antibiotic again, and then um, the hand surgeon called on Monday and said, can you come down to Georgetown to my office down here? And so I did, and he, <clears throat> the nurse couldn't take the stitch out. It was so swollen. Uh oh. So he came in with his binocular things and took it out. And then he put me on another antibiotic, and I said, so do I keep taking the one I'm taking? And he said, oh yeah, I'll take that one. Wow. So your guts need some rehabilitation so now I'm, too. I'm doing all this Amy Myers gut repair, and it's helping. Good, good. I'm but, so glad. You, know, you look so much better than I saw you just a week ago. Well, I'm feeling better. Good. I'm getting, I, I can cook now anyway. <laughs> That's amazing. Now you can make healthier happy. food. David's tired eating TV dinners. <laughs> <laughs> Although he, he's trying to gain weight because when he had COVID, he lost almost 20 pounds. Oh, and he didn't have 20 pounds to lose either. He was down to 165. Wow. And he's back up to 176, 178 now depending on how many meals he skips. 